A controversial anti-abortion group is days away from preaching on the streets in Albuquerque. Some say it's been linked to violent extreme measures on abortion clinics. One group is worried about that, and it's called upon the archdiocese to step in. News 13's Crystal Gutierrez reports. It's right on their website. Members of a controversial anti-abortion group, Operation Rescue, are heading to Albuquerque and will join a group run by a New Mexico priest. They've got a mission in mind. We're kind of seeing that Albuquerque is becoming the new abortion capital. But opposition is brewing. A pro-life group opposing their move has already sent a letter to the archbishop calling for his help and has a petition going. Right now we have over 550 signatures. And some of those are Catholic? Many of those are Catholic, yes. However, However, Joan Sanford says this fight is not about the abortion debate. They might attract extremists who uh, might resort to violence, just as they did in Wichita, Kansas, and other cities. Last year, Kansas doctor George Tiller, an abortionist, was murdered. The group had a blog on its website called Tiller Watch before the murder happened. And investigators say the convicted murderer had the phone number of the group in his car. The group says he was not a member. If they're linking the two together, that is an assumption on their part. We had nothing to do with his death. The group told us why they chose Albuquerque. We're very concerned about the late-term abortions that are taking place there. Rob. They've already made a few visits, and during one of those visits, they ran into an Albuquerque abortionist, Dr. Curtis Boyd. Went to have lunch at a diner, and he just so happened to walk out as we sat down to order our drinks. I don't think anything Operation Rescue does is coincidence. Now, coincidence or not, we did find out that there are similarities between Dr. Tiller and Dr. Boyd. Both of their practices did include late-term abortions. The two members of Operation Rescue say they'll be in Albuquerque by Monday. Crystal Gutierrez, KRQE News 13. The group's senior policy advisor served two years in prison for conspiring to bomb a California abortion clinic in 1988. The Archdiocese of Santa Fe told us Father Imbarto's ministries do not represent the diocese. Father Imbarto was on retreat today and could not comment.